Hey, what's up, family? Welcome to Ask the My Eyes. Where we challenge you to stop playing and start pushing. beautiful wife you know? and this right here this is my sexy darling husband <laughs> I use a all right guys we um, have a question that has come in and I just want to say for those of you who have been sending in questions um, we get lots and lots and lots and lots of questions and so um, I just want to first say thank you for trusting us with um, your questions secondly know that even though it may be a while sometimes until you get your question answered we are dedicated to getting to as many of them as we possibly can. All right, so here is the question um, at hand. I've been married to my wife since August 7, 2011. We dated for two years but never lived together. I really hadn't had much time before that to secure myself financially, although I have worked the whole time. We're experiencing some financial problems now, and I feel that I'm the blame because as the man, I should have made sure we prepared ourselves for marriage, but I wanted to make her happy. And now I feel like I'm paying for this decision. We are both busting our behinds, and even though we both make decent salaries, it's not enough. We have two children together. I have two prior to our meeting. We don't relate like we used to. The stress is taking a toll on our marriage. I suggested that we sit down once a week and make time for, I'm sorry, at least twice a week and make time for one another, but it never happens. What did you suggest? What do you suggest? And what did I do wrong? That's coming from this book. Yeah, I mean, the, f the first thing that I would say is that I want to acknowledge what you're doing right. You know, just reaching out and, and looking for some assistance in this area and, mm -hmm. you know, just being vulnerable and willing to take that risk to um, expose your situation. You know, again, kudos to you for doing that. Mm -hmm. That does take a lot. Um, in terms of what you're doing right in this situation, um, I'm going to focus on that because I, it's, it's real easy to identify areas in which there's deficits but I think that it's important in this situation to um, approach it from a strength-based perspective. And so um, in, in hearing your situation, um, again, I like the fact that you're reaching out. Um, in addition to that, it seems like you have an intent to, to, try, to, to try to fix this thing. You know, you, you want to sit down twice a week and have intentional conversation or dialogue and just connect in, which I think is definitely an important piece right there that needs to be in place because with that connection, it helps to sustain the relationship. So it helps to get you through a lot of the difficult times or rough spaces in your relationship. So that's one thing that you're doing right um, right now, which I would encourage you to continue putting on the table, even if she's not interested. I know you said things get in the way, you know, time may get away from y'all, but please, please, please continue to lift that up as a priority because even when you can't see, um, see the bright side or see the light at the end of the tunnel, if you just keep on attempting to connect, eventually you will see the bright light at the end of the tunnel. Um, but you got to make sure that you're doing that connection piece. Um, in terms of what you what you what you did wrong, um, it is important um, for you to enter into you know a marriage with some sense of um, foundation, and I want to say stable foundation. But truth be told, not all foundations are stable when you enter when you enter into a marriage. You're talking about financially. Or financially, yeah, I'm talking about financially. Okay. Um, and a lot of people, my wife and I, um, in particular, we entered into our marriage, and our foundation wasn't stable at all. Um, we were working some things out and continue to work some at things all, out. At all. Yeah, but but mm -hmm. you know the fact that you acknowledge that is a good thing. But the best case scenario is to have that in place. Most people don't have it down pat, a hundred percent of the time when they enter into a marriage, and people figure it out along the way. Um, so in this situation right here, it seems like you both are working, you both are stressed out, and the bills and the the everyday stresses continue to mount. Um, again, the intention around plugging in and tapping into each other is really critical. But in terms of what you all did wrong or what you did wrong, I mean, I, I really don't know. I mean, <laughs> it, it's, it's, I mean, that foundation piece is, is key, is critical. But, you know, you, you it seem like you're busting your butt. You know, you're trying to make it work. You're trying to figure it out. And that's the thing that I see you doing right. So I wouldn't focus on the deficit here. I would just focus on the strength. And the fact that it is that you're trying to work it out, to me, that's a positive thing. 
Yeah, I mean, I, th I think that my husband is not able to really tell you anything necessarily that you're doing wrong. Because really, I, what I want you to understand in terms of marriage is that this is normal. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when we're in the midst of stress, when we have a lot going on, we are just fully... Um, you know, immersed in that and we're experiencing that and we think no one else is really feeling it like we're feeling it. You know, we see other people, whether it be another, you know, uh, man or you see other families or couples or whatever and they look like they got this going on and that going on, right? And so we imagine that we're really coming up short um, and then whatever we're experiencing, it becomes amplified in our own minds. And so I think that what is standing out for me um, in terms of what you need to hear from us today, brother, is this. It is normal for a couple, a, uh, a, a young family, to endure some stress, a financial stress, along your path as you continue to move up in perhaps career, move up in income, move up in um, a certain level of uh, confidence and skill set, you know, uh, and so... And so so, so that is like really normal. And, and I guess I just can't really tell you anything other than that. I think that what I'm getting from your letter is that you feel uncomfortable. You are stressed and you are stretched. And you say, I feel like I'm paying for this decision to go ahead and marry her now. And, and so I don't hear anywhere in your letter that you say that she's beating you down. That, that you're saying that she's saying, hey, what you doing? What's going on? You're not providing. You're not doing this. Because you say you're working. And she's working. Y'all are pushing forward, but yet you all are disconnected and you feel like you're paying for the decision, but you wanted to make her happy. So I take away from that, that you might not have gotten married as quickly as um, you did, but you wanted to make her happy. And I'm assuming that you love her. And and, and so be, 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 be okay with the fact that if this is the one you love, this is your wife, own the fact that you wanted to be married to her. Perhaps it was to make her happy, but if it was also because you loved her and you want to be with her and that hasn't changed, then just sit where you are. Stand where you are. Y'all married, you got a family, it's hard out here, and you love one another, you are disconnected, but guess what? Marriage ebbs and flows. And so as my husband said, be intentional in continuing to try to connect in understand that you have to cut yourself some slack that much of what we experience in the world if not all of it is a reflection of our own perception it is a reflection of what's going on internally within us so what you are experiencing and that and it seems as though you're trying to get away from in some way you know what do i do it's i i i get this sense that you're just you're just not comfortable you're not going to get away from that unless you allow yourself to be at peace with where you are and you sit down perhaps, take your, your wife out, get one evening covered, even if it has to be after the, the girls or boys or the, the children, whoever, go to bed because you can't make it out and go nowhere because you ain't got no money to do all of that. And you say, you know, we gonna, I just want to sit down. I just want to talk to you, babe. I just want to see where you at because I've been stressed. I know you've been stressed. We haven't had an opportunity to connect. We say we are. And I just want you to know that, you know, it's hard. I know it's hard for you, it's hard for me, and it's particularly hard for me because I know it's hard for you. And I know it's hard for our family and I want to do more and I feel like I should have more and I don't. And so I'm struggling with that, but I just wanna know where you at. And when you allow yourself to be vulnerable, when you allow yourself to be transparent, and when you allow yourself to share beyond uh, what you would normally share, then you open up a place and a space that only the two of you can connect into. And that in and of itself, will help to make you feel a little bit better. And so there's really not much we can give you, brother, because it sounds like you are doing what you're supposed to be doing. And it sounds like you're experiencing probably what you're supposed to be experiencing. Because I don't believe personally that anything happens on accident. There is no experience in your life that will be wasted. Everything takes you to where you're supposed to be. So stand in it, be in it, continue to strive. And you will thrive, you will get there. Just continue to keep pushing. Stop playing. Start, start pushing. pushing.